guys, time is back with another Linsense video. Today we have a fragrance from Ard Al Zaffron. But before we get to that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, the tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. However, wherever you watch me, it is an honor. You guys are new to this channel. You like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very very important now obviously we all like fragrance that's why we're here and there go a few fragrance stores that i shop with frequently use those discount codes as well save yourself a little bit of money art al zaffron <clears throat> this one actually comes from the oud store themselves man definitely some nice people out there again uh go give them a shot again here's the thing with some of these different you know when you know, sometimes I might put the fragrance from, you know, from today's video, uh, and I'll show you guys that you can buy it from the Oud store. Now, you can probably get it a little bit cheaper somewhere else, but the thing is, I've had so much great service with this guy in California. Yes, this might might be like $5, $10 more, but again, in California, you know, everything is expensive, so, you know, he's got to run a shop over there. He's shipping and stuff like that, so, you know, give the guy a break, Okay. Uh, but with that being said, let's get into this fragrance. R to Al Zaffron again. We all know Mythical, Durgum, uh, Wah, Wafa, if you will. So many good fragrances from the house. Uh, and this one, I'm hoping to be no different. Now, I do have a, I think, as long as from what I've read, this is a inspiration of a Louis Vuitton fragrance. I do have another clone sitting over here so I can tell right away if it is indeed a clone of it. Now, the clone that we do have over here already, I think I did a video on this maybe almost a year ago, and this was from the Milestones. This is that <laughs> intimation, okay? Not not imagination, intimation, okay? Uh, this one, again, the problem I had with, honestly, this fragrance, and again, if it is yeah, indeed, it is cloning imagination, is I don't believe or understand the hype behind the real thing. It To me, it just smells like a high-class maybe body powder or some baby powder. Very powdery, just very musky and clean. Don't get me wrong, it smells good, but I just don't see the hype on that fragrance in general. So, uh, you know... Spending four hundred dollars to smell like a, a, a rich baby powder, then go be my guest. But again, it might not be something that I'm gonna look forward to. But the one I got here, hopefully, maybe this does a little bit better because we all know Art Al Zaffron is a little bit step above uh, Milestone. Milestone, you can see Milestone fragrances at TJ Maxx here. Usually they're twenty dollars on some sites, so you know Art Al Zaffron, give or take, could be anywhere between twenty and. 60 bucks, give or take some Art Al's efforts. But this one is Sahib Intense. Sahib or Saheb? I don't know. Saheb? Sahib. Saheb. I'm going to go Saheb, okay? Because obviously there's no two E's in there. So definitely not Sahib. And there we go. By Art Al Zafran right here. And then also the sticker on the back. I already took the plastic off. So you won't see me struggle with that. And then this one opens up like bamboozle. And then take a look at that bottle. Very nice. Now, I thought this was going to be, um, I forget the name of the uh, the brand, but the, 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 the one with the, the weird big wooden square cap. I thought it was going to be like a clone of a fragrance like that. Which, again, that's the one thing about these Middle Easterns is that you get this and you automatically assume it's cloning that brand, but then it goes to Louis Vuitton. So it's like, you know, I don't know, but maybe that is the beauty with this. They're trying to get you to guess. They want you to be, they, they, they want you to be surprised. They want you to not just know right off the bat what it is. Although sometimes it does help a little bit with the purchase because you see it and you're like, oh my God, it's got to be a clone of that. I definitely want that, but I can't afford that. So let me get that. But this, you got to kind of read the notes, read the notes, read the description, and then you kind of you know, go from there. But I think on the website, it does say this is a clone of imagination. So enough talk. Let's get into it. Cap uh, is pretty light, but nonetheless, the bottle, uh, pretty decent. Not not that bad. So enough rambling on. Man, got a little stuffy nose here. So 
Hopefully I'm able to smell it. <laughs> Wide distribution, but it doesn't shoot out that much juice. Okay. This definitely smells like that imagination. And in my opinion, from what I remember, I think this smells better than the Milestone one. I'm going to spray the Milestone one because with the Milestone one, it almost kind of just came off super powdery right off the back. This one kind of has almost this, again, you get this musky, but almost like this fresh fabric softener smell with that musk. Almost kind of like um, Banana Republic's Linen Vetiver, how that smells very clean, very luxurious and nice musky this one has a the, the and this one i think the citrus comes out a little bit more if there is citrus in this i don't know but let me smell this over here and see this one has the better spray to them i mean man maybe uh maybe that's what these fragrances needed to do was just uh sit around a little bit especially that one because now that i'm smelling it in the air definitely smells much better than from what i remember and uh you know again the, the the thing is you know when you smell like this you still don't expect to spend like three four hundred dollars okay because again it smells Ooh. Ooh, man, this is actually harder than what I thought because they both smell pretty dang good. Again, uh, man, when I did that video on Intimation about uh, a year ago, I thought it just smelled basic, it, it, clean, fresh, maybe some slight citrus, maybe a little bit of touch of some florals, whatnot. Just very clean, again, pretty much like Banana Republic's Linen Vetiver, that clean, musky, freshness, bright citrus in this one too. So this one has more of like that essential oil citrus, where this one smells almost more like the exact juice from the citrus, but that's where they kind of get a little bit different, okay? Or that's where they're different, but then kind of the same after that. This one's starting to get a touch of sweetness in it. Oh, man. You know, I... You know what? I have to take my previous statement back. Now, again, I don't think... Okay? Again, I don't, 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 don't think that a fragrance is justifiable when it's a three, four, or five hundred dollar fragrance, okay? It, it, it doesn't matter. I... You know, again, most of the time, it is the name that you are really paying for. And obviously, yeah, you can go there and then they say, no, this one is the real thing and this and that. Okay, the oud, okay. Yes, you might have a real oud and something, but uh, I mean, the oud's not going to make you a millionaire just because you got a real oud in that bottle. I mean, if you got the money to buy the real oud, then you probably are a millionaire. But uh, having real oud in that bottle does not make you a millionaire. The way it smells will make you feel like a millionaire, and both of them smell good. One obviously is a little bit more expensive. The other one's maybe a little bit more a synthetic smell, but they both smell great. That's all that really matters. And, you know, oh, man, they are, they are both nice. Again, I don't think a fragrance is worth three, four, five hundred, uh, all that, a hundred dollars, okay? You want to get to about the 200 level? Oh, okay, give or take, whatever. You know, looking at you, PDM, Perfumes de Marley, those are usually about that 200 mark. But if you think about certain uh, fragrance brands like Mancera, everyone loves Mancera's. Montal, another fragrance. Cheap, not too expensive. A fragrance house like... Um, um, uh, which one is this one again? This Itat, Okay. These are what you would probably consider niche, you know, style fragrance. You know, very unique, blended. Uh, 
and they're about a hundred twenty thirty dollars okay give or take that's you know understandable if you want to spend that much money you think you know spending that much money you feel like you're getting a um, good deal and, and good quality and everything but man this intimation and this Saheb Again, I, I didn't know what it was at first. Uh, when I first smelled this intimation, I was like, man, this, this literally smells like baby powder. Baby, like an expensive baby powder with a little bit of citrus. But, man, from the time I put this on, and this one as well, they both developed into something very, very nice. And very nice to smell up close. Very nice to smell in the air. Again, in the air, it smells more like that Banana Republic, how the linen vinegar smells in the air. When you get closer to the skin, you start smelling more things. Little touch of sweet, little bit of this white soapiness almost, like almost a Duff Bar of soap, but with this fabric softener, this clean, fresh fabric sheet smell, man. I, I am digging this one, you guys. Hey, it... it Again, you gotta like these type of fragrances. If you if you like smelling super fresh, almost like fresh cotton, linen, fresh white batch of teas, okay? You can mix that up with some of that fabric softener, fabric sheets, a little bit of citrus, just a slight little bit of sweet, not like sweet from like tonka bean, almost like a sugary sweet. There's something, just a slight bit of sweet coming through, okay? This smells good, you guys. I would highly suggest this one. And then if you didn't have like the $45 to $50 to pay for this one, this one is smelling pretty damn good too. And you guys already know, some of you guys that have bought Milestone perfumes from TJ Maxx, you guys can attest if they have good performance. This one, again, might not have the best performance because obviously it's a freshie. Obviously a lot of freshies don't last long, but man, I cannot complain about either one. They are both smelling good. I, I think this is just a touch higher quality, not much. This one is right there, though. It, it is very, very close in my honest opinion, okay? If you have intimation already, do I think you need to go out there and get this one? No, because, again, there's just a slight difference. This one smells more like citrusy juice, the juice of the inside of the lemon, the bergamot, whatever citrus is in here. And this smells more like the, the peel, if you will, the white part, a little bit of that, again, essential oils, a little bit of that bitterness. This one's more just straightforward with the, uh, the, the, the citrus, okay? But that's where kind of they, you know, they're different. Other than that, they get real close, very fresh, very clean. Yeah, I would lean on this one just a little bit more though, okay? This one just a little bit more, okay? Not by much. Not, not by much. It's not like head and uh, shoulders better than intimation. But, whew, man, that that might have just crept up into one of my top. And, again, I was I was a downer on imagination. Don't get me wrong. The, uh, or this intimation. I was a downer. I was like, man, there's no way. It, it, it smelled good, but I didn't think it would smell as great as what I'm smelling now. This thing really does smell good very uplifting fragrance very cheerful fragrance if you will very people um friendly if you will non-offensive and honestly you are going to get compliments because it is just that fresh it's that inviting it's that it, it, it's that cheerful that you are going to get some compliments with this one like obviously you can wear it in the spring or summer and again you can wear it in winter and fall but again just make sure you are in the right situation okay if you are just going to be outdoors obviously spring and summer but if you are going to be indoors controlled climate then you go based off of you know that temperature on the inside okay so with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here sorry that video was a little bit long but i had two of them and uh man maybe i'll do a, a real head-to-head -head on those two but other than that that sahib is good i like it hopefully you guys do too go check it out peace out yeah